mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4, hadith number 3231, that the wife of the Prophet said, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She asked the Prophet, that was there any day in your life which was worse than the day of the battle of Uhud? Which is the worst day of your life? So the Prophet said, yes. It was the day of Al-Aqaba in Taif. And when the Prophet went to deliver the message of Islam to the people of Taif, they harassed him and they did not listen to the message. They did not, they did not obey the Prophet. And some of the narrations say that they even stoned him. It was the worst day of his life. Then when the Prophet was sitting his head down in sun, suddenly he finds a shade of cloud over his head, a shade of silver cloud. And when he looks up, he sees the Archangel Gabriel. He sees Jibreel salam And Jibreel salam says that Allah has witnessed what they did to you and how they behaved with you. So Allah has sent the angels of mountain to help you. And Jibreel salam he calls the angel of mountain. When the angel of mountain comes, he says to the prophet that your Lord has sent me and he has witnessed and heard how did the people behave with you. you you command, what should I do? Whatever you say, I will do. Do you want me to bring both the mountains of Makkah together? Do you want me to get both the mountains close to either so that the people will be crushed to death in between them? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, No, I would rather want that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring from the loyals of these people, a generation from these people who will worship Allah and will not associate partners with him. Imagine the Prophet says it was the worst day of his life. Imagine if it was the worst day of your life and if someone wants to help you and says I can crush the enemy to death. Here the Prophet says, don't put them to death, but I want Allah to bring from their loins, from their generation, from their children, a people who will believe in Allah and who will not associate partners with God. It is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 8, hadith number 697, that one of the Sahabas approaches the Prophet and says that the people of Daos, they did not agree with the message of Islam and they rejected the message. Why don't you curse, curse these people of Daos? And the Sahabas, they thought, now the Prophet would curse the people of Daos. But the Prophet said, Oh Allah, Guide the people of Daos so that they come close to us. The Prophet said, give hidayah, give guidance, but he did not curse them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Kalam, chapter number 68, verse number 4. Allah says, innaka la'allakum. Khalakum azim, that indeed verily in the Prophet is the best pattern of conduct. Verily in the Prophet